Bob, it just seems like the theme across all of these southeastern states lately is just flooding, flooding, flooding. Yeah. And of course, the Harvey victims, it's hard to watch all of the video. It just, you, you it think is. it's going to stop, and people are still facing new challenges, even in Houston, where you said, like you said, the rain stopped. Yeah, it stopped, but it still goes on. And it's right. going to go on for a long time, too. Even though some of the places are receding mm -hmm. the water, it's still uh, rising in some others. You just right. saw that in that story. Right. Uh, yeah, devastation. It's the worst flooding, mm -hmm. it looks like, in the history of the United States, Jeez. which is just pretty incredible. You think about it. Uh, this is a beautiful shot here along the Sun Coast. We had a lot of these sent in to pics at mysuncoast.com. This one from Janet at Nokomis Beach. Those rays that you see there are from storms off in the distance. The sun had already gone below the horizon there, but the storms were still peaking up, so it creates these shadows in between uh, the rays of the sun there. They're known as crepuscular rays, and a beautiful shot it was. Now, sunset out on uh, the bay tonight uh, from the Van Wezel webcam showing clear skies and not much rain in the forecast uh, today and tomorrow things are staying pretty dry and it looks like as a result of this dry air that's in place and some of that dry air to the west of Harvey continues to work its way in so the showers are still strong in some areas but not nearly as as I said intense as they once were uh, just a couple of days ago uh, but still raining into portions of northern Louisiana also into east Texas so this is only going to cause more problems for us no rain around there were a few showers well east of the interstate but that has since moved on and we aren't anticipating much rain uh, for the next 24 for hours. Well, the moisture content is really diminished as a result of that dry air I showed you earlier. And as far as uh, Harvey is concerned, it is no longer a tropical storm. It is just a tropical depression now as it heads off to the northeast. 81, it's warm and the dew point high, uh, making it feel all that much warmer. The high today was 89, the low was 74. Both are running about a degree above, below average. 20.97 inches of rainfall at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport. Uh, nearing 21 inches for the entire month, well above average, obviously. 76 in Jacksonville, it's 80 in Orlando, 86 still warm in Miami. And the water temperature now warming up every day, 87 degrees now, 82 the temperature in Northport, Arcadia at 83, and Venice now at 83 degrees. The forecast for Thursday looks good. It will stay dry for the most part. There'll be a few more showers around. Most of that action will be east of the interstate, uh, pushing off uh, toward the east as well. Well, here's our new storm as we uh, start to uh, focus on the rest of the tropics. This is what we're going to be looking at now. This is Irma. It's way out there. No speculation as to what it might do uh, five days from now. But here's the forecast path and track. It is forecast to become a major hurricane in about three days from now as a Category 3 storm uh, pushing off to the west-southwest. You notice a little dip more toward the west-southwest later on in the forecast. That's due to a high-pressure ridge, which is expected to stay to the north of it. So in about 7 to 10 days, we'll see where it will be going as far as the United States is concerned. Uh, some of the models, like the United States model, bends it off and curves it before the Bahamas into the Atlantic, while the European keeps it more on a westerly course and has it in about seven days near the Bahamas, but that's still too early to tell exactly where it's going to be. There's an another system that the Hurricane Center is watching right here. Uh, there's a chance we could see some development over the next four to five days in the southwest portion of the Gulf of Mexico, but right now uh, that is not a big concern at this point, and this continues to push off to the northeast, and it will continue to weaken as it does so. Water temperatures remain very warm in the Gulf, with the exception of where Harvey has been. It has cooled things down there into the upper 70s to low 80s. For boaters tomorrow, seas will be running 2 to 3 feet out there, a light chop in the bays and inland waters. Tides upcoming, low tide at 216 and a high at 758. Sunrise will be at 709. Mostly fair, warm tonight, 78 for your low. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, another warm day, but dry at least. And uh, the extended forecast, though, is calling for a little bit better chance for showers and storms as we head into Friday and into the weekend. Labor Day, just a 40% chance for those scattered late-day storms. Haley?